Genesis and Smash Brothers. Hi, and it's this a boy. is Genesis or Genesis. And I'm off camera, kind of. <laughs> Hi, happy. I'm Eric uh, Allen. I'm here with Joe Drilling. I am here for this. Uh, and Alex <laughs> is also here Hi. for this, and so is our friend Norman Coffey. Kind of. Um, I could fix changing the name of the. Of but the, fuck uh, it, man! I'm too tired. Uh, tonight I'm going to play well, Genesis or Genesis is a game where I play a game. Yeah, it's a game. It's kind of a game. It's, it's like, like a, a sort of a it's game. It's definitely yeah, a, game. a game. Play Genesis game, and then I say if it's good or not. And I'm definitely in the proper mental state for this. Uh, to be a fair. Did you not sleep at all last you. night or something? No, I'm like, very tired. Just... And then I had two beers when I got home, and so I'm completely out of it. So. I'm gonna awesome. play Shadow Dancer, The Secret of Shinobi, where you can see this box art here. Uh, I actually quite like that box that art. Box it's a little weird. Good. This box but... art is better. I don't know if this is real box art or not. It says this looks like a Sega Mega Drive, but it's like a crazy. Uh... I believe that is. I, I could. I'll, I can double check, but I believe that is the legitimate Japanese box art, yes. That's some pretty fucking dope box art. But both that is these, some dope both box these pieces art. of box art are very good. I like the, the U.S. one just because it is much less, uh, it's much less of what you expect from a box art, especially these days. That kind of pulled away from the action. Yeah, I don't really like that. I don't really like what's going on with that font down there, but uh, other than that, I, like <laughs> the, I do like the silhouette of the guy with the baseball bat. I think that's really good, but I'm going to leave the Japanese one up because look at that fucking dog. This game about a dog. It's a ninja and a dog. Um... <laughs> And that's all there is to say about that. Normal or non shuriken level one two three. Genesis. Control. Yeah, you don't want normal. You're not gonna want to do normal. You're not Plus ten to do points for dog. Um, and I believe, if I remember correctly, in this one, um, you do not run out of shurikens like yeah. you do. So I played um, Shinobi. T in... Was that Shinobi? Revenge of Shinobi. Revenge of Shinobi. I and I yeah. didn't really like that that much. I didn't. I thought that there was some bullshit jumps in that game, and I, I didn't really care for the way the double jump worked. Um, the double jump is very tricky in that game. Yeah, and there's there's a bunch of, once you get into the third level, there's a bunch of like blind jumps that are kind of bullshit, um, which is not a thing that I'm really into. Uh, uh, so I have confirmed, by the way, that that is the actual Japanese box art. Okay. Legit. Gonna, and the label, the cartridge label looks has, has that same illustration. Oh no, I got killed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just I had some problems with the level design in the in the but I've I've been told that that was more likely that I would like this game. Um, although, is there does this have a double jump? I don't think so. Whoa. I probably should. I should. Sometimes I should try to spend time with these games before I make you play them to refresh myself. <laughs> um, Professional. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I'm all about. Oh man. It's a serious. That motherfucker stream. has a gun. Cyber ninjas. All right. So how do I make the dog kill you... people? Uh, in the arcade version, you have to crouch. And like the dog will like wag its tail, but in this one I think you like you charge up. Oh yeah, you charge up. See that little dog shadow on the bottom, in the middle. You hold B until that charges all the way up. And then what do I hit to make him do it? You just let it go, and he he'll go after. No, he's not yeah, doing he, it. he he can't jump up to like okay. like he has to he has to be an enemy like directly on his line of sight. He's not doing it. Come on, dog. I need you to kill this guy with a gun. He definitely will grab that that dude's gun arm uh, so he can't shoot his gun at you. He just stood there and barked at that guy and only punched me in my fucking face. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you... something. I need to do something other than just hold the button down. So can you tell the dog to do it? <laughs> they find a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that if I duck and walk, the dog like sticks its head down and walks has a different animation. That's pretty good. Oh, there he got it that time. 
Your dog can only attack and stall certain enemies like the robot soldiers and gunmen, but if you take too long to kill the enemy, your dog is well your dog is stalling, then it'll turn into a puppy. It'll also turn into a puppy if you attack certain enemies like shield men. But it says just hold B until the dog icon charges up. And it doesn't say that you have to do anything else besides just charge it until Cool. Power up. Oh man, now I'm not throwing shurikens, I'm throwing fireballs. So this is the, I believe, second of third of three Shinobi games on the Genesis. I think this came shortly after oh, uh, Revenge of Shinobi. This one was based on an arcade game, but it is fairly different than the arcade game. The level layouts and some of the mechanics are a little different. Basically, the, the similarities are that you are a ninja with a dog. <laughs> and, you know, that's, that's about... What more could you possibly ask for? Yeah, I mean, true. In the video game. True. So... Go get him, dog. There you go. Yeah, I mean, that dude had a shield, but, you know. Yeah. Um, I think the easiest way to deal with those is just to go up to them and yeah. just hit them with nope. your sword. Fuck. Or kick them in the face. Yeah. I'm on a bit of a stream delay here, so... Yeah, so in the, in the arcade version, you have to disarm bombs. Um in each stage. And in this one you have to save hostages, and I think you don't even have to save the hostages. I think you can you can opt out of saving the hostages. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, my dog just died. You're in well, this is a sad day. I think Hokia comes back. Yeah. Nah, he came back. Sorry. He's fine. Fuck! So a lot of people think that Shinobi 3 is the best one, um, which is why yes. I didn't go directly to Shinobi 3. I wanted you to play the, you know, this one first, because I think going back to this one after playing Shinobi 3, you'd be like, maybe a little less um, impressed by this one. But Shinobi 3 is a pretty late, late in the life cycle game. Damn it, I thought I was a little out of range, but I'm a little too close. Also, I'd sort of forgotten how kind of brutal this game is with the one hit, <laughs> one one hit, hit deaths. On, uh... Yeah. It's alright, though. Oh, man. I definitely I like the way this feels a lot more than Revenge of Shinobi. It also looks and sounds a hell of a lot better. Um, also, I have a dog. <laughs> yes. I mean, really, you could ask for anything more. I mean, rhythm and music, I suppose, but also a dog. Some rocks are gonna fall. Lizard power! I don't know. It looks like a lizard to me. Uh, it does. It's a... Nope. Ah, oh, fuck! One of the ninja magics? I don't remember. Remember, you do have ninja magic if you need to clear Yeah, I know. Screen. I should just use that once in a while. It's you get bonus just... points if you don't use it, though, I think. You, if you're, you know, if you're playing for a high score. Oh, that's a well, That's me, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, so I do have to save at least some hostages, because there is a gauge at the bottom that tells me, like, save X number of people. Yeah, but I don't know if it if it enforces that. I don't remember. Like, you might be able to just leave the stage, oh, even though you haven't saved everybody. Burning downtown. <laughs> Did I just burn it? Okay, I'm still in stage 1-2, okay. 
Is this, uh, are there any codes for this? Fuck me. Ah, uh, yes, I do believe there are. Uh, let's see here. Practice on any stage. If you hit A, B, C, and start on the title screen, a new option will appear allowing you to practice on any stage. Power up. Uh, in the bonus round where you have to shoot the ninjas, if you kill none or all of the ninjas, you'll automatically get an extra life. Those are the only codes. Or secrets, I should say. Let's see that guy there. He's fine. He can just sit there for the rest of his life. <laughs> Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Oh. <laughs> this stream is over. He's right. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> well, how did I survive by getting hit by that rock? Is there like a block button or something that I'm? I not... think you hit it with your sword. Oh, okay. If you like melee a thing. I see. Lost my fireball. And my dog. Yeah, your dog can't help you against bosses. It's not a dog, it's a coward. <laughs> if only Shinobi had thought ahead and given the dog like a taser knife and yeah. uh, some goggles. Is there like a dodge move video. that I don't know about? Because it seems like it's really hard to dodge these rocks. I guess I can melee them if I'm just, like hammering the button. Uh, there is not any sort of uh, dodge move. Oh no, that didn't, I didn't, I thought I would hit it with my sword, but I did not. There's gotta be some trick to making that activate. Ah! Welcome I missed to the bonus and... stage. <laughs> Jump off a roof and throw ninja stars at a bunch of dudes on the way. Shoot out. all ninjas! Whoa, shit. These um, ninjas aren't fucking around. I miss the days in video games when when everybody blew up no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> you punch a guy and he explodes. Yeah, that only yeah. makes sense in the Fist of the North Star game, but it happened in yeah. every game. I'm not, I'm not shooting all the and, and in the Fist of the North Star game, they changed it so they just flew off the screen instead. Strangely enough. So. Oh, they thought their heads blew up. Their heads yeah. blew up I mean, and they flew backwards. So in like the, in the, some not games, the American version. That makes oh, sense. That's right. right, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games, the foot soldiers are all robots, so... Right, that makes sense, but I'm saying like... Maybe these robots, in, in maybe all... these ninjas are robots in this game. Hey, Who maybe. Knows? This is Did you ever think future. about that? Yeah. I, I right. Yeah, did you ever think about, about that? You fuck... I have now. Uh, Dancing Jack Red Madness says, Hello, I love Shadow Dancer on the Genesis. This game seems oh. pretty fucking cool, man. Me too. You have a dog and everything. Also, like, I don't know, man. I have a soft spot for 8 and 16-bit cityscapes in the background. This isn't, like, one of my favorites or anything. No, that water is really cool. But, yeah. Much like the Revenge of the, Sh uh, Revenge of the Shinobi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, um, this game has some pretty cool water effects. I can't. I keep yeah. moving this camera, but I keep like sinking lower and lower in my chair all the time, so it's not helping uh, me. <laughs> Jack, Jack Red says I can't wait for a few Sega compilations coming out in the next few months. So I'm still kind of confused about that because it seems like the Sega compilation that's coming out for like I think 360 and X or 360 Xbox One and um, PS4 is this one that's been on Steam for like ever in a day. Right? Like, that's what I... Like, that was the vibe I got. Like, maybe it adds a couple games that aren't already in the Steam version, but, like, it's basically that. Um, and then, he, oh yeah, Shenmue 1 and 2 are getting um, re-releases, which I, I don't care about Shenmue. Cool. <laughs> I cared about Shenmue before I played it, and then I played it. <laughs>
<laughs> and then I was just incredibly disappointed. Maybe You're... maybe the most disappointed I've ever been uh, for a highly rated, highly touted video game. I, oh man, I tried. I gave that game so many chances and I just could not stand it. Yeah, um, but I am really interested in... Um... Sega has uh, said that they're going to start releasing um, old games, classic games, on the Switch, which is the thing to do, apparently. The Switch is turning into my, like, vintage gaming machine. Um, and, How much are they uh, charging those... for them? I don't think they've said. Um, if I would there's guess much as those the... Neo Geo games, then I, I don't think I'm interested. I think it probably depends. So I, I don't know how much they're charging. For me, it depends on the game. I don't think eight dollars is like really way out of the reasonable cost for. If it, I mean, if it's games that I can buy on Steam for a lot cheaper or already own in some capacity, then. Yeah, I mean, sure. Um, some of them they've said that they're doing arcade games. Like I think the arcade version of Game Ground is going to be like one of the first of uh, these Sega Ages. They're calling them Sega Ages because that's what Sega does. Um, because you see... Ages I thought what Sega does is what backwards. Nintendo don't. No, that's what Genesis does specifically. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but if they release like, you know, Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder, um, which is included in a video I just posted today um, about arcade games, um, you know, then then that's something I would pay dollars for because that game fucking rules and it's never gotten a home version. Um, I don't know. I think the Neo Geo games. It's the, the thing with the Neo Geo games is they're available like everywhere, right? Um, yeah, pretty but, much. But um, you know, having them like at hand and portable, uh, especially for some of them. You know, not like I don't need another version of King of Fighters '95 or whatever. Um, that's not necessary, but um, you know, like I don't know, Last Resort. I, I bought Shock Troopers uh, on for the Switch just because, like, hey, next time I'm in an airplane, maybe I'll want to play through Shock Troopers because that game fucking rules. Uh, Jack Red says, I would say Shadow Dancer is the trickiest of the three Genesis Shinobi games. I I think that Revenge has some. I don't know, maybe it's the fairest and trickiest, but Revenge does have some, some shitty jumps and stuff like that. Yeah, that there there is there is specifically specifically in the third level, which is as far as I got, there was some hot bullshit in that game. Whereas this game, like I definitely has some like contra like areas where you need to play it right. once no, and no kind of memorize it. But I don't feel dropping. like I'm making I'm being forced to make a blind jump over and over and over again. I mean that doesn't mean that that can't happen at some point, but uh, he says, by the way, Joe, I like your Rampage episode. Well, thank you very much. Um, he says, Mini Genesis is going to suck, but I wouldn't mind owning a Mini Neo Geo. Uh, yeah, so At Games is making another another compact Genesis, and it's like every time At Games makes a thing, it's fucking trash, so I don't know why I keep buying them. Um, but yeah, apparently there is, suppose they teased a, a Mini Neo Geo, because Nintendo hit it big with their with the SNES Mini and the NES Minis. Now everybody's getting on that train. And um, I mean, the Neo Geo, it depends. I'll, I'll have to see what it is, is basically like my attitude at this point. Like, I didn't buy one the last time they made that, that Neo Geo X or whatever. Like, I didn't buy that. Cause again, it was the same, like 20 games as it always is. Um, and I'm just like, okay, don't need to play those again. Or own them again. Um, but if they add some stuff that's maybe a little more offbeat and like not already released and released and released, like if they added like Double Dragon um, on the Neo Geo or uh, or Windjammers, wind they one. probably won't. They probably won't put Windjammers because it's a different 4. company. Yeah, because yeah, another company released it on PS4. Um, I know, died. So uh, ABC you... and Start is the stage select. So. Um, let me double check with that. At the title screen, ABC plus start. At the title screen. Should give you a, a practice stage option. So I think that probably means you can't advance, but you can like play through the stage. And then you, I don't know. Um, there we go. Stage practice. Yeah, but like, I don't know, stuff like Windjammers, Double Dragon, um, Super Dodgeball, 
um, like partner with some of those third parties like Technos and you know whatever, um, and 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 make some of those like even even stuff that was made by SNK that just like I don't know they never re-released three count bout. I don't know why. Um, yeah, but like they sure as hell make sure to release fucking art of fighting like every uh, time a new console comes out and like nobody is asking for that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Jack Red says, uh, Renji Shinobi does have the maze, but Shadow Dancer has the strictest hit detection, especially on bosses. Yeah, the boss, the boss hit boxes are, are a little small in Shadow Dancer. Um, uh, he says, I already own an older at games, Genesis model and their portable Genesis handheld. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, if you... If you understand what you're getting into by getting one of those, like, I get wanting to have portable Genesis games and stuff, but, like, I, I'm i just not, you know. I feel like every time there's, like, there's, there's problems with the emulation, usually sound issues, like, sometimes there's graphical glitches that just, like, the controls don't feel good. Like Yeah, the, the I physical, remember uh, Peter know. Brown was on the Giant Bombcast when that last one came out and did not have very nice things to say, even just, like, about the construction of it. Like, right, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, 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 it's not the emulation of the controls, but, like, the physical, the parts they use to construct yeah. the controls. Are just not great, um, you know. But he recommends uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, um, which I would I would agree. Sonic's yeah. Ultimate Genesis Collection on the PS3 or 360. If you have one of those machines and you want to play a bunch of old Sega games, like yeah. as of right now, that's the way to go. It's right. super cheap. Or the Steam collections are pretty good too. Yeah. Uh, y Signal says that is a good dog though. It's a very good dog. I mean, it's totally fucking useless, but uh, it's cool that I have a dog because I like dogs. That's pretty great. These weird mutant Spider-Man. Uh, Fuck! I did the same thing I did last time. Uh, Jack Red says, "Why? Why? Why did it have to be at games? Why couldn't it give someone else a try?" I don't know. Sega must have a contract. They must have a good working relationship. Uh, Y Signal says he's up there with D Dog. Okay, that's hyperbole. That is hyperbole. D Dog does it. D Dog tells you where all the enemies are. That's why D Dog is like borderline broken, but also great. And yeah, but why... D Dog doesn't poop on command, so he's pretty much useless. <laughs> yeah, but neither does this dog, so I mean. How often did you really use that though? Like, there's that one mission where you have to like intercept that that uh, caravan, and so you can make him spin out with horse poop. But like, other than that, cause man, there's only one character in that game that you can lay down and make poop on your face. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I would That's... say I, I, once I had D Dog, I think I used him about ninety percent of the time. Yeah, I think I would even. Even when people were like, oh, Quiet is super good, I was like, mm, eh. No thanks. Quiet breaks the game and makes it too easy. Well, also, the problem also is that... I fucking hated the character design and the justification well, for it. All yeah. that shit, so. As soon as I could put her in the Sniper Wolf outfit so she looked like she was dressed to actually leave the house, um, I did that immediately. Well, if they'd had, if they'd, it also, or if they'd had any balls and actually just made her naked instead of just a weird fetish model, then it would have been fine with me also. But like that in between thing is like the grossest thing at all, of all. If your justification is that she's a weird plant that needs sunlight, then <laughs> then just make her. Then naked. just make her naked. Yeah, like a weird naked hairy lady, and like fine, like great. Like that would be totally fine, but that's not what that that's not what that was all about. You know what they should have did? They should have put her in a giant Gonzalez bodysuit. <laughs> Where's the guy? Um, Where's our dude? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think Quiet really broke the game though, because it takes a long time for her to actually be able to use a uh, tranquilizer rifle. And if I can't like pick up all the dudes and recruit them, then like I don't care. It. But it's like you can also just tell her not to do anything, and then like when if you get in the shit, just be like, "Hey, quiet, kill everybody," and then she'll just do it. Yeah, but I and you make... don't have to do as long as you just stay hidden. Everybody dies. I had a dog that I could make kill people with a knife. Can can you tell? Yeah, I know. Me to too. Do it and then have her poop on your face. 
I don't yeah, remember. Coffee, I'm not There's mods for that. If yeah, I don't remember that, but I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> A you man, can't. an elevator level. <laughs> gotta have, gotta have an elevator level. It's Metal it's Gear, so I wouldn't put anything past it. Uh, y Signal says he's a cool dog, and says that <laughs> Quiet should have turned into Audrey too. That would have been great if at the if you leveled up your she's a plant lady, and so you level up your like affinity with her like 100, percent and then she just turns into Audrey too from the shop and like yeah. starts eating people. That would be fucking amazing. This dog is fucking useless, <laughs> man. Uh, Jack Red says. You? Uh, I don't know what prompted this because we were talking, but he started just listing off like really bad licensed games, so I'm not sure what the what the prompt was for that. Uh, Wolverine Adamantium Rage. That's we played that on this show. Uh, that game sucks, and Last Action Hero sucks, and Warlock, based on the Julian <laughs> Sands movie of the same name, uh, also sucks. Actually, I think it's based on the second one. Now that I think about it, I think it's based on Warlock Two. The Armageddon, if memory serves. Classic. Classic. I have not seen that movie in a really long time. I suspect it has aged extremely poorly. It used to be on uh, cable a lot. Yeah, yeah, it did. That's one of those movies where it's like, I know I've seen it, mm -hmm. but I, the only th I remember like one scene, but I am positive I've seen it, you know? Um, did I tell you that I watched one of those old those old Tales from the Crypt movies from the from the, the British ones from the seventies? Mm -hmm. And I like had this moment while I was watching one of them where I was like, I am pretty sure I've seen this movie, but I don't recognize yeah. enough of it yet to actually be sure that I have actually seen this movie. And then like the next scene was something that I recognized, and I was like, Oh right, okay, yes, I, I was right, I have seen this movie. This game is really weird in that it just it appears that I'm basically invincible while I'm jumping. But then when I land, I can take damage. So it's like you have to like time your jumps to jump past bullets or jump and yeah. take hits and stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, that time I died while I was jumping. I guess because he was I guess I just like ran into him. Must be. Let's go to the fourth stage. Yeah. Uh, Jack Red is suggesting a mini m mini marathon of Arnold Schwarzenegger games and I don't know if he's suggesting it for this show or for one of the pre-recorded shows that I do um, but he says lol JK that's not worth attempting and uh, he's right it's, it's really not I can't I can't actually think of a game based on an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie that is like even like sort of good hmm. unless you count like Conan, Smash like, TV Conan, MMO. <laughs> was that good no <laughs> Uh, like, if you kind of, like, Smash TV, or maybe, like, Manhunt, or, um... Uh, I mean, that's those... those Mad World. Those, come on now, none of those count. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, no, I can't think of a game based on an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie that... What if, they, what if they put Arnold Schwarzenegger in oh, Manhunt? Actually, no. Um, the True Lies game for Super Nintendo is, like, pretty decent. It's, like, really fucking hard, but it's not bad. Um... But I think that's the only one that I can think of. Last Action that's Heroes, bad. Hot Garbage, all the Terminator games. Are, well, actually, the Terminator on Sega CD is pretty decent, but you don't play as Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's like the final boss. So I don't know that kind of well, that's because it's the Terminator. Right. Which is the only good Terminator movie. I don't know if I'd say it's the only good one, but it's definitely the Name best one. Name another good Terminator movie. Terminator 2, the, the theatrical mm. cut of Terminator 2 is pretty good. Mm. Having seen that recently, I'm not like like that movie is like one of the few watchable, horribly bloated not, 90s James Cameron action movies. movies. <laughs> but it's not. I don't think it's good actually. I think it might not actually be that good. Unfortunately, I think it has a lot of cool stuff in it, but I don't think it's actually a good movie. I think it's overrated, but I still <laughs> think it's a good movie. I think like people overvalue it a lot, especially at the expense of Terminator One, which is like a yeah. fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Here's some bullshit. There's one of those shooty guys up on this rock where you can't see him because he's in the dark. Oh, fucker. Can you send right, your dog Never out? mind, yeah. The, uh, now the dog is useful. I take back every mean thing I said about this <laughs> dog. Um, Jack Red says, I heard Terminator on Sega CD is a gem. It is. Uh, it's not a... 
it's not what I would call a great, like, all-time, you know, classic, but um, it's, it's a very solid action outing. Oh, what? Uh, must be the dog killed him? Let's go to round five. Let's see what's up here. Um, and Jack Red says, I would love to see you do something similar to Ninja Gaiden in the near future when possible. Uh, it's going to be a while, dude. That episode... Even though it was over, it was a year, it was exactly a year ago this month. Um, that episode took a long time to oh. make. All right, well, it's yeah. been a half an hour. I, yeah. I'll i say this game is pretty good. I like this game. Uh, You'd say Genesis worth yeah, checking out? Yeah, for sure. I, like, I do, like, like the dog is useful, especially in some, in some of these later levels where there are more of these shooty assholes. Mm -hmm. So, like, where he can... Uh, I don't, I still don't have, having played it for half an hour, I still don't really have, like, a great grasp of, uh... How the dog works? Well, no, I have, I, I have figured out how the dog works. What I don't have a great grasp of is when I'm gonna take hits or not from enemies and stuff, because sometimes I think you can, it seems you can like... can touch, if an enemy doesn't have, like, a sword or something, you then can... Then you can touch them? Maybe that's it. Um... And if they do have a sword, you can touch them, like, on the head or the back, and it Maybe just, like, it. knocks you back but it doesn't kill you I yeah think. but then there were also times where i was hitting rocks that were instantly killing me maybe that was when i was jumping yeah i don't know what that was all about because that that definitely happened more than once so, I was so you're, you're you're you are definitely putting this then above um revenge of shinobi oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 for sure like well i don't know like this this has much less of a focus on platforming which right this is more like shinobi yeah like which also like also the plat like the jumping just feels a lot better in this game it doesn't have like revenge of shinobi had that weird thing where when you would jump you would like like float against the ceiling instead of like bouncing back down and i didn't yeah. really like that and i also really i did not like the feel of the double jump in that game very much um, well it's so time you have to time it perfectly yeah it has to be like at the peak of your jump for it to work also this one uh, we mentioned this at the beginning but this is a very different um, game this one does sure. not but the... keep track of your shurikens you don't have to like yeah you don't have to worry about running out of ammo basically so yeah although for the most part it didn't it seemed like you could you could manage without the ammo in the other game if, if you needed to Whereas this game is very much the, uh, fuck it. it, seems to be designed uh, around you having like more enemies in blind locations and things. Oh, yeah. What? I missed that guy. Also. Awesome. Yeah, jump right over him. Oh yeah, right here. Just jump right over that guy. Sorry, guy. Yeah, so you do have to save the hostages. I was yeah. obviously not correct yeah. about that. You, you have to save. Them. Maybe it's the arcade version I'm thinking of you don't have to defuse all the bombs. I don't know why they never brought the dog back. It's a wasted opportunity. What? Jump kick. Room three. Uh, anyway, that's uh, the Shadow Dancer. I, I don't know. This game seems pretty fucking good, actually. Um, yeah. Probably the most fun I've had with one of these games in a little while now. <laughs> I feel like it's been that's a minute good. since I played something that I was really. Uh, uh, we had fun with Toe Jam and Earl. When yeah, you Toe were Jam here. and Earl was okay. I mean, that was like a month. That was more than a month ago at this point. That's true. But then I don't think we've actually done that many of these. And also, I'd played to Toe Jam and Earl before, so I knew what I was in for with that one. Um, true. But uh, anyway, that's Genesis of Genesis. And we're gonna go play some farming, I think, with Mike. Yeah, I think that's what's I don't know going if he's on next. Or not. Uh, he's around. Right. Oh, there he's he is. All right. Well, we're gonna play some farming in a minute, so. Yeah. Come back for that, and come back next week for more of this. What's up?